flower chosen for a royal wedding bouquet has a meaning, and one picked for Meghan Markle's arrangement is strong, brave protector. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's wedding back in May 2018 was watched by millions, both in the UK and worldwide. The bride wore a custom-made dress by Givenchy, which was designed by Claire Waite Keller. Her hair was swept back and a 16.5-foot silk dual veil was placed at the back and was adorned with embroidered flowers that represented the 53 Commonwealth countries. When walking up and down the aisle, Meghan was seen carrying a small bouquet, and Express.co.uk exclusively spoke to Asta Forfers, head of product at Arena Flowers about the choices of blooms in the arrangement. Meghan and Harry's royal wedding is the most popular of all time, new research has revealed. The ceremony, reported to cost £32 billion, pulls in 27,400 Google searches a month and boasts over 5,300 Instagram hashtags. As a result, their wedding is more searched for and mentioned than any other royal wedding on the list. Following this, Express.co.uk took a look at the details of Meghan and Harry's wedding, one being the choice of flowers that created Meghan's wedding bouquet. Asta from Arena Flowers spoke about the similarities and differences within the arrangement to Princess Diana's and Kate Middleton's bouquets, and whether certain flower choices followed or broke away from tradition. Meghan's bouquet featured flowers picked from the Kensington Palace Royal Gardens by Harry himself, forget-me-nots and myrtle. Also included in the bunch was sweet peas, lily of the valley, astilbe, jasmine, astrantia. Asta said, in terms of the style of the bouquets, you can instantly see the difference a couple of decades makes. We've gone from Princess Diana's very full, cascading bouquet through to the more modern, posy style favoured by both the Duchess of Cambridge and Duchess of Sussex. But when we look at the floriography of the bouquets there's a similarity between all of them. All included Lily of the Valley which, in the language of flowers, is said to symbolize purity, sincerity and happiness as well as myrtle to represent love, luck and prosperity. Seasonality has impacted the flower choices too with gardenias and freesia, both representing purity, innocence and gentleness in Princess Diana's bouquet. Kate's spring wedding was able to incorporate hyacinths, symbolizing peace and commitment and sweet Williams, maybe as a nod to her groom, meaning admiration, passion, love and gratitude. As for the Duchess of Sussex, the flower expert revealed, Meghan's summer wedding meant sweet peas, jasmine and forget-me-nots were all in bloom. These flowers talk of friendship, kindness, feminine powers and sensuality together with true love and respect. Other notable flowers include Stephanotis in Princess Diana's bouquet, a very traditional choice which earned it its wedding flower nickname. Meghan Markle's legal team is claiming that her wedding to Prince Harry brought in £1 billion in tourism revenue, far offsetting the reported £32 million cost of the affair. The resource reports that the new figures came in as part of the most recent filings in the 38-year-old Markle's case against the Mail on Sunday. They suggest that UK taxpayers footed the vast majority, £30 million, of the shindig's total cost, most of which went to security, with the church service, flowers and reception paid for by the royal family. Meanwhile, her lawyers contend that the nuptials were not, in fact, publicly funded, but rather personally financed by HRH the Prince of Wales, Harry's father, Prince Charles. Any public costs incurred for the wedding were solely for security and crowd control to protect members of the public, they add, as deemed necessary by Thames Valley Police and the Metropolitan Police. The male's dissenting opinion comes from a consulting firm, Brand Finance, who estimate that the overall shot in the arm to UK tourism provided by the wedding was a scant £300 million and that the billion-pound valuation takes into account other tangential economic factors such as retail and fashion.